All right, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shai. All praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Bashim, Kakadash. All right, hey, that was a brother Yaki. He kind of chimed in on the show. <laughs> you know, shalom to all you Akim out there that's laboring in its truth. Shalom. And um, this is a, a an impromptu a GMS and route quarantine various topic type of, of video because uh, as we see, America's becoming a ghost town, right? It's mar martial laws pretty much. They now they are uh, they are uh, what they passed the uh, they passed the, the, the shutdown all non-essential um, businesses, right? So that means that there's no gatherings, no, you know, Apostle Rakai was going into it on this video about the, you know, camps and all that, the family of the word. And this is beautiful. That's what's happening is the family of the word and the spirit of the Lord got, got brothers still uh, going hard because look, you know, this pumps us up, man. This is, this just gives us excitement to see how everything is, the prophecies coming to pass, man, all the, the pandemonium, over this uh, fake so-called virus. Well, not, I mean, the virus is real, but it's all a hoax. In other words, it's conspiracy by the, the government because as noted by everybody else who said it, there's been all kind of viruses that's been far worse or whatever, but they chose to use this one for the, uh, you know, for what they're doing. Push their agenda. They push their agenda. So, you know, it's, it's all it's all good because it's the most size agenda nonetheless. But now they, they're sitting there, they're going to be passing more and more legislation, you know, against, you know, against your rights. Pretty much there's no more, because when you got, the thing is, is when you, and that's why they were holding off, because Esau, like we keep saying, they, they use that, it's a term called gradualism, where they gradually, you know, uh, put into play, you know, their wicked practices for their, their uh, martial law and, and shutting the government down and, you know, carting people away. Just like they show you in, in, in the movies, they they do it gradually. They say well, we're gonna in increments, in, in increments you know. And, and uh, if y'all brothers feel free, if y'all got any uh, scriptures, anything y'all want to bring out or whatever, you know, Elder Abba, since you driving, if you want me to pull the scripture, you, you tell tell me. But uh, okay, we'll start it's with what you Jeremiah got. twenty five and thirty two. Uh -huh. So thus said the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shimei and Shai, behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation. And a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. So, yeah, as you know, they always mention uh, uh, it's, a calm, it's the calm before the storm. But what that uh, pastor said, um, Trump, it's the calm before the storm. Yeah, yeah the storm is coming. Yeah. Uh, that was cold word. Uh, all hell is about to break loose. It said, yeah. You know, I mean, they're about to come in the storm according to Isaiah 59 and 19. Yeah. You no? Know? Yeah. So it says, therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, Behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. And it said, the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. because there's going to be a lot a lot of dead people, man. There's going to be a lot of dead dead bodies, yeah. you know. Uh, and, and, you know, I keep speaking about that series. We keep talking about different movies and everything because... You know, this thing is scripted, man. You know, it's scripted. And you got a lot of people that's, you know, uh, uh, trying to now stick their head out or whatever and speak against the government. Yeah. But my thing is, going back 10, 15, 20, 25, where were these people at back then, man? All these people that got the inside scoop of, of this government and what's going on and, and, like, that got all these these uh, theories and everything. Where the fuck were these people at back then? You know, you got people that out there that are real clowns, man, you know? But sit there and, and act like, you know, they, they always they always was against the government. No, nigga, a lot of you, especially you fucking Edomites, y'all started coming up against the government because they, you had no choice. Because Esau don't give a damn about his own. He been fucking up you other Edomites that thought you was good being the middle class or the higher middle class, if you will, right? You thought you was good in your little suburban areas and, and, and gated communities. Until they showed you that you ain't shit neither. You ain't yeah. you ain't uh, exempt them rolling up on you, snatching you out of your shit. Yeah. All right, and now and then he had a um video because you had them stupid dummies down here at that spring break showing you that the American people are fucking stupid as hell, man. Yeah, yeah. You know it's stupid. Here it is. You got 
a major virus that they put out there or whatever, and they, they quarantine and everything, you know, I'm not gonna let that interrupt my, my spring break. Yeah. Showing you the, you know, the, the bread and circuses of America. That's what everybody's about having a fucking good time, man. It's those millennials, too. Those millennials, man. Hey, the scriptures, scriptures tell you, matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it real quick. Yeah, quick yep. for you, right? get that. This is Proverbs 29 and 8. It says, Scornful men bring a city into a city. But wise men turn away wrath. Read it again. It says, Scornful men bring a city into a snare. Mm. The scornful men, these so called elites, they bring this snare or trap. This whole corona or crown virus going into the British crown, the elites of this world trying to crown and bring in their agenda. Break down your dollar bill, it has a Latin and new acceptance, meaning our enterprise is a success. What else you see on that same? Uh, thing in Latin, New Order Sequoia, okay. bringing in that snare of New World Order. Yeah. No? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. And, and which this is a part of, and we've been telling, I mean, we can remember back going into the 90s telling people about the Illuminati, you know, before, yeah. the first known, um, now you see it everywhere on The Simpsons speaking about the coronavirus. They got Disney cartoons that's, you know, some predictive programming certain things that are happening coming to pass but the first cartoon if y'all remember that ever mentioned anything about the elites or the Illuminati was the gargoyles right you remember the gar gar gargoyles man so back then you know when that I don't remember when that came out that was in the 90s if I'm not mistaken that was the 90s right so back then we would speak because the spirit got an apostle to our the God shows it to the, the Millennium Falcon Shows the tapes with uh, Anthony Hilda and, and certain other tapes, and then then he was going into the scriptures with us. That's why, you know, we have the scriptures. Which I got one scripture that the brother called for. All right, I'm gonna read that. You know, that's why we understand these things because the Lord showed us these things and got us ready for the times that are here now. So that's why through the Spirit of the Lord and and, and brothers, don't fret, don't worry, trust in your how about sing out shine, man. All right, and then like Apostle Gabor, he had said the other day when he was talking. It's about having faith coupled with common sense. All right? Don't don't be simple as all hell neither, man. You see? Hey, did you know that, you know, it's a lockdown. They got soldiers out there with guns, and you don't go out there and... But look, I'm in the spirit. You can't... Man, nigga, you don't get shot, man. You know, we, we ain't got no power of ourselves. We still got... Ain't nothing changed. We still got to wait for Yahweh Shad, man. Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shad, to deliver us up out of this situation. But right now, through the spirit of the Lord, the Lord's going to have it to where... We're going to exist while we're here. The Lord is going to be with us, man. You see? And that's a beauty thing. A beauty of this thing. It's like, there's more on that? That was it on that. So now this is First uh, Timothy chapter 5, verse 6. It said, But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. All right? And that's speaking about America because why? America is known as a decadent, a, a, a place of decadence. They, everybody here is into that decadent lifestyle, man. You know, sitting up. That's why everybody's all into the social media, putting a post of them on vacation. Yeah, you know, stacks, stacks and stacks of money, eating at these so-called uh, fine five-star restaurants and everything. Oh, just living the life, popping champagne, throwing it all off the, 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 the yachts and the boats and all that stuff, yeah, yeah. right? Partying and bullshitting, right? That's what America, so the Lord said she is dead while she living because these stupid ass niggas, and guess what? Ain't no good news coming to y'all, man. Nothing but more and more bad news, man. Yeah. All right? You receive your consolation. You receive your consolation. All the plagues that were recorded and written in the Bible, they're going to come, they're coming upon you, man. And you so-called white people, you finished, man. This is your last hurrah. That's why you bug the fuck out. From the elites, the elites are sitting there making, pushing this thing through, doing all kinds of shit, scrambling. You know, they got the new lasers and stuff. They trying to get prepared because Esau's a carnal man. And remember, that was his his uh, blessing. His blessing was the sword, right? So Esau's, you know, we got Jake trying to, you know, get our credit is all fucked up. We, we got uh, all type of odds that are against us, right? Mm -hmm. uh, slavery that we had to endure, hardcore slavery, okay? The land being taken from our ancestors, all right? Dealing with the... the uh, the native tribes of the land, mm -hmm. uh, us being placed in these projects. Yeah. All right. For Esau to experiment on us, do all type of different uh, diabolical 
methods of, of, of destroying us through, it's always been a biological warfare. This ain't nothing new, man. You've been poisoning the, the, the water system of, of Israel for the longest, man. Yeah. All right? With the lead poison, the asbestos, the fucking, or all the other shit that they put in the waters, you know, in, in, in Jake's order, you know? Yeah. So these things, so the Lord's coming back to pay these, these devils back, man, because they thought they got away with all of this, you know, w wickedness that they did by separating the reason why the, the so-called black and you got you simple stupid ass niggas that sit up there and you think you so fucking smart and educated and you figured something out you stupid ass niggas man you know oh you got guys they, they want to blame I, I don't think we should we got to start the problem starts with us motherfucker you fucking idiot man first of all there's curses that the lord put on us man for disobeying his ways his laws his statutes his commandments, man. You ain't speaking about that, man. You don't even know why we came into the situations that we came into, man. And that's why eventually the Lord's going to shut everybody the fuck up, man. Yeah. All that false, those false speeches, man. You know, because you got, you got niggas that want to absolve the so-called white man yeah. of, his of his wickedness. How you want to absolve him of his wickedness right. where the Most High already condemned him for yeah. his wicked acts he did against us, man? Yeah. 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 No peace. The Lord, what the Lord said, no hand join the hand. The wicked shall not go unpunished. That's right. And the wicked is the so-called white man. Contrary to any of you Uncle Tom, you different type of Uncle Tom, Uncle Sam, you sambo-ass niggas, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's locky, bro. The you book got of Nehu, yep. the Lord says he's not going to well, at that, all quit the wicked. That, that's the spirit, man. <laughs> yep. the Lord, so so you, you may forget, okay, <laughs> but, the <laughs> most I, but the most I ain't going to forget, man. Well, look, look, yeah. at, you know? got, look at R. Kelly. Bill Cosby mm -hmm. and all these people they're pulling out their old rap sheets, right? And, per and persecuting them and prosecuting them, right? Right. How much more the judge of all judges mm -hmm. they gonna pull up their rap sheet and judge them? Yep. I got something. Isaiah 34 and 5 says, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Mm -hmm. Behold, we're just talking about the thermonuclear missiles, that's right. man. That's that's the the way that the Lord have determined to destroy Babylon the Great, right? It said, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. And who is Idumia? That's the Greek uh, way of how you say Edom. That's who right, is Edom? Right. Or who are the Edomites? You so-called white people. All right? You're really red. You're not white. You're really red. Mm -hmm. All right? Out of one, which means red. Okay? You're the red people of the planet. So it said, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse. Mm. Right? Because the Lord hates you. The Lord hates you Edomites, man. That's why he cursed you with leprosy, man. That's right. Yeah. Give a stimulus package, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Is that somebody having their head chopped off and you say, huh, let me put a Band-Aid on that wound. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, don't, don't worry. Help is on his way. Okay. It says, how for her, take balm for her pain. Mm -hmm. If so be, she may be healed. Right. If so be, she may be healed because America's not going to be healed. That's the reality, man. It's, it's not going to get better. It's not going to go back to normal or none of that. Uh, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. See? We would, but she's not healed because why? They tried everything mm -hmm. to hold on to it. They, they, they sitting there. They're playing a dangerous game, too, mm -hmm. by putting this. Because they, they never went to this stage where they just did trials and, re, you know, rehearsed shit. Mm -hmm. So now they really actually... Going, going, because yeah. they try. They don't want to lose everything. Right. It's like they don't want the missiles to go off. They don't want right. to destroy. You know, right. they want to still have a place to rule over. They just right. want to thin out the herd. Yeah, they want to kill people. people yeah, kill a, a certain, a lot of people, mm -hmm. and, and scare the rest the rest of the people into slavery. To slavery, yeah. bound down to the new world order. Mm -hmm. All right, but it, it's still not ha happening because why? Mm -hmm. Everything is, everything is just breaking down. Yep. The, the the economy, the money system, all over the globe. 